Hi guys, I'm back with a healthy steamed Thai chicken and banana leaf. Here I have taken chicken breast. You can also use leg boneless, you can use drumsticks, but just keep note the cooking time will change. Here I have taken breast boneless and I'm cutting them up into medium sized cubes, not too small and not too big. There is a little bit of fat content on the breast as you can see in the picture. I want that to be there so the breast will be a little bit moist, otherwise, it does turn out to be dry. I've taken it to the bowl, added some pepper, this is homemade Thai green curry paste and some coconut milk. You must have noticed I've not added any salt because my curry paste has salt. If you're making it at home, great, otherwise store bought also has salt, so omit the salt here. This is banana leaf. Now these are raw leaves and I'm going to just put the chicken in the center, fold it, toothpick and steam. But before that, I need to give it a heat so that they are much more easy to fold and the banana leaves don't tear. So I'm just going to give them a quick heat like this so that the raw banana leaves just become a little bit more softer. See, it's so much more easier to fold and they don't break at all. Placing chicken pieces here marinated. Marinated chicken should be at least for minimum four hours, please, or overnight. The flavors definitely enhance. I have placed boneless chicken. I have just given a simple fold and I'm going to be using a toothpick so that they do not open up while they're getting steamed. So this is one side and I'm going to fold the other side and put a toothpick again here. So first parcel is ready. Now I'm going to keep this aside. Now if you have a larger piece banana leaf, then you just cut it into two and do the same method. And I have again put around three to four pieces in each parcel. And I'm going to fold it. This is the first method which I showed. The other method which I'm going to show is a simple roll. You could do this as well. And just prick it with a toothpick so that they don't open up. This is a steamer. You always again have to preheat a steamer. That means you have to fill it with steam, open it up and then place the food and close it back. Now this approximately takes about uh, 8 to 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'm showing you how to make a sauce to go with it. The sauce is totally optional. Here I have taken water and sugar. I'm going to let the sugar dissolve completely. And then I'm going to be adding vinegar. So this is a sauce basically, which is a sweet and tangy sauce. I'm going to let this boil and let it cool completely. In the meantime, I have some chopped cucumber, some sliced onion. And for the spice, I'm using normal Indian green chilli. You can use bird's eye chilli as well and coriander leaves. Once the sugar and the vinegar mixture is cooled, you just need to pour it and let the salad just marinate for a while. Now let's look at the steamed parcels. It has been around 10 minutes. I have taken out the toothpick. I'm opening up the parcels and look at that. Zero oil. Come on, after so much of Diwali sweets, let's just go healthy. You must give this dish a try.